All right, here we go, man. Happy Monday. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all those things. Now we're going to transition into New Year. But until we do that, you know we got a week full of these accessory videos, man. So today, we're taking a look at a, a, a hype little product, all right? I was excited for this, man. Shout out to Autobox for finally reaching out to your boy. Finally get, letting me in to the Autobox world, man. They sent me a whole bunch of products. You already know we're going to be getting into them one by one. But I had to start off with... One of the most impressive that was in that whole package, and that is going to be their Autobox Wireless Power Bank with MagSafe. All right, now you've seen the videos. You guys already know that Anchor, you guys know I love this Anchor MagSafe battery pack. I literally use this thing just about every day. One of the best uh, products that I had on my table, accessory that you can get, I recommend this thing to everybody. Just recommend wireless power banks to people, period. But then I was surprised to see Autobox had one in their packaging that they sent me, and this is a good one, all right? This is a really good one, and we I'm going to tell you which one I like better because the Anchor, it got a little bit of competition right now. So let's go ahead and check it out. As you can see, this thing kind of mimics an Autobox case. So if you look at it, man, look at the bottom. You see how it kind of has that circle around. It kind of has that outline. You guys know if you use something like an Autobox symmetry case or something like that, that is exactly what this whole power bank is basically mimicking off of, and it's very small. I mean, look at the comparison to the Anchor power bank bank both of these are 5,000 milliamp hour battery banks both are with those mag safe you can see the anchor mag safe mat is there you can see the auto box there but let's move to anchor we're not really going to talk about that this is we focusing on the auto box right here so looking at it man very small in stature you see you get some of that auto box branding right here comes in two colors comes in this black and also comes in that white in case you do want to switch the color up so you know that's a good thing nice little texture giving you that exact same texture of an auto box symmetry case all right so i know one thing that you're probably already looking at like yo t this thing does not have a stand like the anchor one does all right this anchor stand right here is absolutely clutch i told you before when your phone is on you can pop the stand in you can charge your phone and also charge it and look at content at the very the exact same time all right so that's what's going on with the anchor but when it comes to this one no you don't got that you literally have a power bank that you slap on the back of it now how does this thing perform now yesterday i was using my phone it was holiday time you already know parents want to see the nephews they want to see them opening every single gift i drained that battery down all right i drained it down into the nighttime my phone hit about 25 20 percent with this, I was able to bring my iPhone 13 Pro back from 20% all the way back to 95%. Now, I told you guys before, some of you may think these are, they're supposed to give a phone 100% charge. No, that's not true. Basically, what these does is, with it charging, it also is using power from itself. So, of course, it's going to discharge. So, it's not going to get you to 0 to 100%. But I'm going to tell you what, 20 to 95 is good enough for me. These are made for a pinch. These are made to be charging your phones all the time. These are emergency situation battery banks. So nice little nice little feature there. So you see you get those magnets. You see you get all of the, the information down here on the bottom, letting you know the power and everything like that. And right here on the, on the bottom, you do get a USB Type-C, of course. You get some LED dots, LED notifications, let you know the charge of it. So you do get four lights on this one. And you do get a little you know kind of harder to push power button but it's kind of flush with that openness so that's a good look right there so let's go ahead and bring my iphone 13 pro over here and let's just go ahead and slap it on the back and as you see it is charging and this is basically how it looks on the actual phone itself you see what i'm saying like it's not that big it's fairly small not real huge and in your way it is a fairly small thing so i'm pretty sure you like your tea so why do you like this why are you favoring this over the anchor all right so you guys know how it is these days all right we're at a time now where i don't want to plug anything in i want everything to be wireless i want everything to be mag safe now when you look at the anchor this doesn't have any way that you can wirelessly charge this. You have to plug it in via Type-C to charge this power bank. All right, you guys know about the Anchor. If you didn't know about it, I will be sure to link the video to this one down below. You can't wirelessly charge it. So I'm, I'm just a snob now for wireless charger. I want everything to charge wirelessly. Can't do it with the Anchor. But what surprised me, and let me bring the MagSafe over here, is not only does it have MagSafe to where you can slap it on the back of your phone, all right? Not only does it have that, on the reverse side, it also has MagSafe so you can charge it. And just to kind of flip it over so you can see those wireless charger happening, yes. So this right here is a clutch, clutch feature. Now, I want you guys to answer the question down below because I'm curious what you guys think. 
Would you rather have the OtterBox with reverse MagSafe so you can just pop it down and MagSafe charge it? Or would you rather plug it in via type C and have the stand to go? And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about with the stand, let me plug up with the anchor and then pop it on the stand. Would you guys rather have this right here to where you can actually view content and charge your phone at the very same time? Or would you rather be like, all right, yo, my battery is dead on my battery bank. I need to charge it. And you just pop it on MagSafe and you go about your day and you ain't got to fumble around with no cables. I don't know about you. I don't want to deal with cables. This right here is so convenient. Not only can you do this, another little thing is, say you out there and you have a car mount. Say you don't have a MagSafe car mount. Say you don't have a, a wireless charging mount. You just have a MagSafe mount. So now what you can do is, and say for weird examples, you may just have left your charging cord in the house, but you have your out-of-box MagSafe power bank. You can basically plug it in there. All right, you can go ahead and charge it. And just for giggles, you can put this down actually on the MagSafe, charge the battery pack, and charge. you can charge everything. And it's all working in cohesion with each other. So say for an example, this was a car mount and you was in your car and you can just plug it up like this and it, it'll be on your mount. And, it, and it's strong enough to, act, sorry, I can't put it, this cord is tight, but, and it's strong enough to hold it. Like that is all a little clutch key feature that I think this out of box does. Like, an amazing, amazing little deal for this, man. Now, this is in comparison directly to the Anchor, all right? They both are priced at 60 bucks. Once again, we haven't spoke about the Apple one. That's $100. Let me know if you want to see the Apple MagSafe. I just haven't pulled myself to go and buy it. But if you guys want to see it in comparison to these, I'll go out to Best Buy or the Apple Store and get that overpriced damn thing. I guess I got, my, I got to do it for y'all if y'all want to see it. But... This, in my opinion, is an excellent, excellent choice. Yes, some situations you probably would miss the actual stand on the back of this. You can do it, you know, landscape. You can do a vertical. You actually might miss that situation with this one, man. But being able to just pop this on Mag, say, through this past weekend, it has been clutch. I don't have to worry about looking for my Type-C charger. I just plug it down on MagSafe, and it's good to go. I don't have to worry about it, all right? 5,000 milliamp hours, 60 bucks, charges at 7.5 watts, and I think that's the exact much that this Anchor charges at. So not only can you do this, you can pop it on this. Let me go ahead and grab... Uh, let me go ahead and grab my other stuff real quick. So say you just need to charge all the way around, all right? You can use this as a standalone battery bank. It's just not for MagSafe charging. So you, so you pop it on that, it's going to be charging your iPhone, all right? So say I need a little bit of juice. I need to just take a little bit of that juice, and I need to plug my AirPods in as well. So not only are you charging your phone, you can also charge your AirPods, and it's just an all-in-one thing. And then once again, you can slap this up on that MagSafe and just keep the power going, keep the party going. When it comes to this power bank, yo, out of box, you knocked out the part. I really think you separated yourself from the competition with allowing MagSafe charger with your power bank and, and still being able to keep that price very competitive at 60 bucks. So if you're looking for a power bank, man, it's going to be a hard to kind of recommend anything else, man. But this out of box in a very small, nice package doesn't leave any fingerprints. The material is nice, very light. And I also can say that this one does not generate as much heat as the Anchor Mag Go. That thing can get warm. And a lot of you in the comment section was like, yo, T, that thing gets a little bit uncomfortable when we're talking about the warmth. This one I've been using for about two days and it gets warm, but it doesn't get anywhere near as warm as the Anchor, all right? So I'm out there, guys. I'm giving you another option. If you are all about the MagSafe wireless power banks, I say everybody needs to get one. These things are clutch. They're small, easy. Throw it in your pocket for emergency situations. Women, throw it in your pocketbook. Throw it in whatever you got. Your man, throw it in your little man fanny pack man bag if, if you got one of those. I don't, but if you got one, throw it in there. You see what I'm saying? But this gets it done. It's a nice little solution to give you a problem if you were to run down on battery life, man. So go out there and check this out. Out of box, power bank with MagSafe, man. 60 bucks, come in black, comes in white. Excellent 5,000 milliamp hours with reverse MagSafe so you can charge the phone and slap it on a charger and also charge this when the battery goes down. This did get my phone, like I said, from iPhone 13 Pro to 20-ish, 25% all the way to 95%. And in my opinion, that gets the job done. So technically, I'm about to get up out of here. You already know I will leave the links to these bad boys down below, man. Please, please go check it out. Go grab one. Might be the best wireless power bank out there on the market, if you ask me. But anyway, I'm about to get up out of here, man. Make sure you do the YouTube things. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you don't miss out on any of these future videos.
that I got hitting y'all with the channel, bringing in the new year, man. But everyone, please be safe out there. Catch you on the next one. Later.